Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. In the previous video, we learned about transactions and UTXOs. So in this video, we will learn where do transaction fee come from. Okay, if you go back to the last video when we bought two bikes, you can see there is nothing like transaction fee. 1.1 Bitcoin was spent in which whole 1.1 Bitcoin was paid to the bike shop. We know transaction fees are not compulsory, but the miners won't choose your transaction if it has no transaction fee. So in order to speed up your transaction to be added to the blockchain, you have to mention some transaction fee along with the transaction. So let's look at an example with transaction fee. Now let's say John send me 0.5 Bitcoin, Nick send me 0.7 Bitcoin and Harry send me 0.9 Bitcoin. So all these transactions will be added to my ETXOs. Suppose I want to buy a car or Ferrari for 2 Bitcoin and I want to give 0.2 Bitcoin as transaction fee. Now in input, we need at least 2.2 Bitcoin including transaction fee, so I will pick these three transactions. And in output, 2 Bitcoin will be paid to Ferrari store, 0.2 Bitcoin will be paid to miner as transaction fee, and finally remaining 0.8 Bitcoin will be paid back to myself. Here we have 3 ETXO now, one for Ferrari store, then for miner, and finally for myself. And my ETXOs will look like this. So this is all about transaction fee, I hope you have understood it. Now if you look it in real world, we are back to this website, blockchain.explorer and let's choose some random block. So this is the block and you can see the transactions in this block, 15 transactions and you can see the fees associated with this transaction. If we select a transaction. You can see detail of this transaction, you can see the fees and lots of other things. So this is all for this video and on this note, I will see you in the next video.